So if you've already found what's bottlenecking your system, then this video is for you because I'm not going to tell you what is bottlenecking your system and how to find out because you can already find those out in many other videos. In this video I'm just going to tell you the solutions of what you should do if you already know what is bottlenecking your system. Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket. So assuming RAM... Get this out of the way. So assuming RAM is your problem and your bottleneck, there are two things you can do. Either you can simply close some of the things you have open and then you'll have more RAM freed up. And the second option is you simply buy more RAM because you need to have those things open. One thing I would recommend in Windows 10 is going into your settings and turning off all the background apps because most of the time you don't need them. It's not even like they speed up the opening process by having them opening oh, by having them open in the background. So just go ahead and turn them off. If your CPU is the bottleneck, then there's two things you can do as well. Either upgrade your CPU if you really need that power, or if you cannot upgrade, try overclocking. If your CPU is unable to overclock, there are usually a few ways to get around that and overclock it anyways, but most of the time, if it's locked down, you cannot overclock it. So just try and upgrade your CPU. And if you're gaming and your CPU is the bottleneck, just try to run your game at a higher resolution so the load moves from your CPU to your GPU, so that way your CPU isn't too much of a bottleneck. If your GPU is the bottleneck, upgrade your card or try overclocking it. If you're gaming, try playing at 720p or 1080p to move the load from your GPU to your CPU to reduce the bottleneck. If your PC is loading things too slowly, that's your hard drive. Either upgrade your hard drive to an SSD or short stroke it. Okay guys, so that's all for this video because I don't know of anything else that can bottleneck your, seat, your computer. If you have any more suggestions or if I missed something, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below so other people can get your help. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.